Hello, I'm Fontane Descargos. Today I'm here to make a review for you of the Science Club Gloves, the Haptic Feedback Gloves from Dutch company Science Club. So, discover everything with me in this short video review. If you want some more details, you can always check the written review that I've written on my blog, and you can find the link in the description of the video where you can also find all the other videos about the Science Gloves, like the unboxing or the um, setup session. So a little recap of what is Sense Glove. Sense Glove is a force feedback haptic glove. So what does it mean? It means that when you grasp an object in virtual reality, so let's suppose this box of the Vibe Tracker is a virtual object in a virtual world, you grab it in virtual reality, but since it doesn't exist, your real fingers just go beyond the object. So you see the fingers trespassing this object. With a force feedback glove, thanks to these motors that are installed here, they pull these strings that you see here in the device, I don't know if you can see them well, and they basically pull your fingers so they can't trespass the virtual object. So we hold this in VR, your hands close this way, but your fingers can't go behind this, beyond this, because the the uh, motors are pulling them. And so you have force feedback. So you have the sensation of having forces in the virtual world. Apart from doing force feedback, these glasses can also check your fingers with just a few degrees of freedom. So two for each, each uh, finger. So you can uh, bend the finger and you can spread them. The, the thumb, of course, has more freedom. And then they also give you uh, tactile vibrations. This means that the sound hardware inside here that makes the motors vibrate, so you feel vibration here, and so you can have some kind of tactile sensation. You, know, you put your virtual finger inside a virtual microwave and you start seeing some lots of vibrations to have more feedback. So these are great hardware made for haptic feedbacks in VR. So, but let's see if it works really well or not. This is how I'm going to tell you in this review. So a quick note about uh, the setup. Is the sense curve easy to set up or not? The answer is not that easy. I will spend like half an hour for the first setup and 15 minutes for the second. This is because you need to set up your HTC Vive, you have set up the Vive trackers with the adapter so that you can also have the controllers connected. Uh, you have to install the Vive trackers on the glove the first time. Then you have to connect the gloves to the box, connect there is a, uh, an external box that's connected to the PC, and then there is the tether of the gloves, and then blah, blah, blah. So the setup is not as straightforward. My suggestion if to use them is to have a permanent installation with everything already set up, the trackers, the headset, and the sense gloves, so it's easier for the next time to use them. And then you have also to consider the setup procedure of the gloves themselves, so you have to install them on your hands. So there are, there are some stripes that you close on your palm, there are stripes on your fingers, there are stripes that are not easy to be set up. So after you have worn the first glove on your first hand, you have to use the set up them on the other hand, but you have not one bare hand anymore. So basically you have to use one hand with the glove on to, um, to, put, to help him put in the other gloves and with the straps is not easy. So I won't say that the setup is comfortable. It's not impossible to do, but for sure it's not as straightforward as we hope it to be. It's not plug and play as you say. The other question that people may ask me is, are they comfortable? And the answer is that they are so and so. So they're not that bad when you can close your fingers freely, they apply little resistance, so it's okay. But what is really uncomfortable is that they're a bit heavier, especially with the Vive Tracker, you really feel the, the, heavy, the weight of the tracker and also it is unbalanced. So when you move your hands, you always realize there is something there. Also the stripes here on the palm, it is very sensitive area of your hand. Also the fingertips are super sensitive. You have something with the Velcro just tightening them. And so you always realize there is something in your hands. You can't say that it's super comfortable. There's also the tether, but it's quite long and in my experience has never been a real problem. But anyway, it's not terrible comfort. So don't misunderstand me. It's okay to wear them, but I will wear them only for a limited period of time and I have a break and I will wear them again. 
I will not wear them for eight hours consecutively because they will leave signs on my fingers. They will make my hands sweat. So, so and so for the comfort. So the, the main concern is always Tony, but can you use them with what kind of games, with what applications, and how is the sensation that they provide so this false feedback? So my first answer is that there is no game. It's a dev kit. So you should develop the application. It is compatible with no game that there is in the market. And it is made for enterprise applications. So you buy this dev kit and you create your enterprise application using the science globe. And there is only a sample demo scene that lasts like five minutes or even less. It is a simple training experience where you can grab some objects like a drilling machine, you can grab a cup and drink some water, etc. etc. You can fix a little thing, but it's very simple, just short showcase. Then there are some uh, sample scenes in Unity that can make you squeeze some objects, but that's it. For the rest, you have no applications to test them. And regarding the sensation they provide, is this not like in real life? So they prevent you from closing your hand, but it's not the same sensation to be in real life because in real life you have actually an object applying an active force for pushing your fingers. Here, are motors pulling them. And also, the, currently, the SDK, it is a common problem for feedback gloves, can detect exactly the shape of the objects you should hand and how the fingers should adapt perfectly. So it may happen that you grab this cube and instead of having this, the, the fingers this way, maybe you have them this way and you can not push them. And so there is some kind of realism, but it's not the one that you want. Sometimes the, the checking fails completely and doesn't detect as a platform's feedback. Um, but other times when it works, I say in my article, it was perfectly probably one time out of five out of even a bit less, but when it happens, it's magic because you take an object and actually your fingers stop at the limits of the object like in real life. And maybe it has happened once I had uh, like a wow moment in the demo. I grabbed this glass cylinder and the motors were doing, uh, opposing my fingers to move. I apply some force and bam, the, the cylinder break up and it fell into pieces and Immediately, I was I had no resistance anymore, and that moment was like magic. But this kind of moment uh, happens seldom. As I said, it is a first dev kit, so um, there are still problems, mostly on the software side. I think uh, for this thing, it can be fixed in future iterations of the software without fixing the hardware. And um, we need something that can emulate exactly the shape of the different objects that you can grasp. Um, it works uh, sometimes well, sometimes not. So it must be improved. The verbal tactile feedback is usually employed in very simple ways, some buzz, some vibrations. It, it's nice, especially if you to emulate some kind of waves, some plasma, and to give some generic feedback, like, you know, the buzz of the Oculus Touch. So nothing special. It it's usually works and it's okay. Okay, now we are inside Unity to showcase the SDK of the Sense Club. And I can say the SDK is pretty cool. So let me, you can download it from GitHub. Uh, I can leave you the, the link in the description of the video. Uh, it is open source and presents some sample scenes and some documentation. So in the sample scene, for instance, you can feel the hardware diagnostic that simulates things like, okay, now apply some buzz. And now all my fingers are vibrating very nice way. And then I can apply some fast feedback. And so they block in the position I leave them. I can't close my fingers any more than this because the motors are pulling my hands. So this is pretty nice. There are also other sample scenes that, for instance, show you how to get fast feedback. This make you see, for instance, how you can uh, how you can create some objects, they break or not, or they can be grabbed. And so let me show you. This is a cube. 
and then a ball that can be squeezed because you can also have materials that apply just resistance but they let your fingers in like they are made of rubber and then this is a breakable leg and this is probably the, the most wow sensation that you can have with a sense glow. At first they apply resistance and then it breaks. Um, the, all these kind of things, um, it's interesting looking at the uh, various sample scenes that are scripts provided by sense glow to um, apply force feedback. This simple tracking is to apply force feedback. The material is to define if the object is breakable, if there's two bars, whatever. And in other scenes also, there is something about the, uh, the vibe tracker. So this is a simple scene that there is not in the SDK, but if you ask Science Cloud to provide it to you, it already gives you a scene ready for SteamVR. So with vibe trackers and everything set up here, I created some cubes and spheres. And it's nice. Also the grabbable lets you take the objects uh, keep it in your hands. So there's already all the scripts ready to do something. And after I've watched the, the sample scene, I've been able to create something in something like um, five minutes, 10 minutes, just to, just for the time to, uh, to create something cool and just make some experiments. The problem of this SDK is that uh, it lacks a proper getting started guide. So here you have documentation. And if I open the documentation, you can find that it is like 352 pages. And this is all the APIs, all the, uh, everything about the classes. And it's useful this way, but probably 10 pages of getting started guide, how to create your first cube will be much more useful than just uh, having this shitload of material uh, with the APIs. But apart from this, the, the SDK is pretty cool. So how to buy the Science Glove? You can go to the website, www.scienceglove.com, learn more about it, and then hit the Order Now button, and you can buy the glove for $3,000. It may seem a lot of money, but remember, it is an enterprise device and the, the competition actually costs much more. Uh, so 3,000 for the kit. If you want to make it wireless and get rid of the cable is 500 euros, of course, plus all the bad taxes. We are at the end of this review. So what's my final impression of this gadget? Well, I think it's a very nice dev kit. So it's a DK1 for haptics. And for DK1, for haptics, it has a price that is like five times less than the competition, or at least three times less. I think that Sense Glove has done a good job because the haptic sensation is there, uh, the hardware, some, the hardware works, and gives you for speed, that gives you tactile sensation. And for 3,000, I know that you may joke a lot about this, but actually the price is affordable for small companies and medium-sized companies. Um, it is not perfect, so it is not a haptic device that works out of the box, haptic device that is perfect haptic sensation. It is not even better than competition, in my opinion. I tried the Dexta gloves, the Dexmo gloves by Dexta in China, and they are better. But they also cost more. Um, so you have to choose what you want to obtain. For sure, if you need a dev kit to start experimenting with haptic feedback for your company, for training experience and rehabilitation, I think that the sense glove can be a good um, hardware to start. Uh, if you want something that works perfectly, probably you have to better weigh the uh, next generation of haptics, or maybe even two generations, since it will take a long time to reach perfect haptics. Also, I'm quite confident that many of the problems with the SDK can be solved via software, so the, the shape of the fingers when you get the objects, etc. So you can have the improvements with this hardware. Also, a final note on the plastic that I've uh, not covered before. From the videos, I thought it was super cheap, plastic, like 3D printed. Actually, it is not that bad. It looks more like the plastic of a toy, probably, than a 3D printed stuff. So it is not that fragile as it may seem. I also touch it with this, the wall and such. Don't tell sense global about this. Uh, and 
it does not have broken. So it is not a fragile. Uh, it is a good piece of hardware. I think you can consider it. Um, if you want to be sure, of course, you are free to ask me questions here in the comments of this video or even the comments on my social media channels. I will be very happy to answer you about the uh, Sense Glove, about my experience with it. But for now, it's a wrap. So the final verdict is an uh, interesting development kit and its improvement. Uh, with it, I say you bye bye and like this video and subscribe to my channel or this robotic glow it comes towards <laughs> your neck we're threatening you to subscribe to my channel because i'm joking i wish you a happy vr and a happy life bye bye